Okay, so today we're going to solve a system of equations algebraically. Today, the only thing we're going to be doing, though, is a linear and a quadratic, a parabola. All right, so the first thing is that you want to put your linear into y equals form. So actually, I would take both of these and put them in y equals form. But you're going to notice that the linear here is not um, in g of x equals form. Okay, so let's start with uh, the, linear, uh, the quadratic. That's y is equal to x squared minus 6x plus 5. All right, so this is the linear. The g of x is your y. y plus 7 is equal to 2x. So you want a minus 7. And you have y is equal to 2x minus 7. So now what you want to do is you want to take your linear equation and plug it into the y value of your quadratic. So I'm going to take my linear because that's equal to y, and I'm going to substitute it into my y value of my quadratic. So they are actually equal to each other. So I have here 2x minus 7 is equal to x squared minus 6x plus 5. All right, now you're going to solve this. Now, you might have to either complete the square or use the quadratic formula, depending on if the solutions are rational or irrational. All right, so we're going to solve for each x value. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to set it equal to uh, 0. So I have minus 2x add 7. So I get 0 is equal to x squared minus 8x plus 12. All right, so now, if you're like me, I don't like to have my uh, equation on the right side. Uh, that's just a math thing that I have. So I'm just going to switch this around. I think most students, too, also like to have the 0 on the right side. So I have x squared minus 8x plus 12 is equal to 0. So now I'm actually going to solve this. Okay, so this actually looks like a great equation to complete the square with. So notice that my leading coefficient in front of the x squared that's a 1, and my middle term is even, so I'm going to complete the square for this. So I am first going to minus the 12 from both sides, so I get x squared minus 8x is equal to negative 12. Now I'm going to do half the middle term, so half of negative 8 is negative 4, squared is 16, I'm going to add it to this side, to the right side, and to the left side, so I will get x squared minus 8x plus 16 equals negative 12 plus 16, which happens to be negative 12 plus 16 is 4. So I get x squared minus 8x plus 16 is equal to 4. Okay, so now on the left side, this side here, I'm going to factor. So I set up my parentheses, still equals 4. Remember, I get x and x. Remember, the number that goes inside your parentheses here is, the always, is always the number that you got when you did half of b, so that was negative 4. I have the same parentheses. I'm going to write it with a square. x minus 4 squared is equal to 4. To get rid of the square, I'm going to square root both sides. So I get x minus 4 is equal to, don't forget the plus minus, the square root of 4. Okay, so the square root of 4 is 2, so I have x minus 4 is equal to plus minus 2. So I'm going to add 4. I get x is equal to 4 plus minus 2. I'm going to separate it now so that I have my two uh, x values. I have x is equal to 4 plus 2, which is x is equal to 6. And I have 4 minus 2 is equal to x is equal to 2 here. Okay, so the next thing we want to do is uh, take each x value and plug it in to find the y value. So now what I would do is I would go back to your linear, which was y is equal to 2x minus 7 from before, and you're going to take each x value and plug it in to find a y value. So if you have two different x values, you need to find two different y values. So I have here y is equal to 2x minus 7, plug in 6. y equals 2 times 6 minus 7. That's 12 minus 7. So I have y is equal to 5. And then over here on the right side, I have y equals 2 times 2 minus 7. 
y equals 4 minus 7, so y is equal to negative 3. And the last thing that you would want to do, so the last thing you want to do is write the word solution and write down your solutions here as a coordinate. So I have x is 6, my y value is 5, and when x is 2, my y value is negative 3. Okay, so that's it, and uh, we'll practice some more in class. Have a good night.